you would encounter this at the ER that patient would come uh, past midnight saying that they're experiencing pain at the epigastric area rotating at the back. So uh, you would consider it's either polylithiasis or pancreatitis kasi naglalagay at the back. So this is your picture of a cholelithiasis. How would you know that this is not a stone in your right kidney? Because the differentials for cholelithiasis would be a stone in your right kidney. Okay? Doctor, what will you do? Here. Just uh, to establish that this is indeed a stone in the gallbladder and this is not a stone in your right kidney. Usually, we would, we would request for oblique view. Okay? In oblique view, if this is a renal stone, hindi siya gagalaw. Kasi the right kidney is located retroperitoneally. Kaya balik-balik ta rin naman yan, nandun nakadikit pa rin siya sa uh, malapit siya sa spine, sa lumbar area. Whereas pagka inoblik mo to, the tendency for the gallstone would move peripherally. Okay? Mas lalabas yung stone. <clears throat> so, in doing that, uh, oblique view, you will be able to make a confirmation of your diagnosis that this is indeed a case of a cholelithiasis. Okay? That one, a calcified gallstone. So your differential would always be nephrolithiasis right. Okay? Always remember that. So this one, there's a radio opaque density here on the right I know, on the left and then this one and then this one so this is more of your IBT this is KUP examination actually okay so 80% of the renal stone is radio opaque so this is a renal stone. This is a staghorn calculi. This is a ureteral stone. Why would I say that this is a ureteral stone? Your landmark, di ba? Nasa level na siya ng sacrum. Di ba? Usually yung left kidney naman or right kidney nasa L2 mga ganun siya so yung location yun lang yung magiging guide nyo so this is the pelvis so this is the left sacroiliac so most likely this stone is seen at the left ureter this tal okay so this one that is your T12 so as I've said, the kidney is usually seen at the level of L1, L2. Sige, i-consider natin hanggang L3. So this one is a stone. This is a staghorn calculus. Why staghorn? Kikita nyo parang ito na yung uh, calluses niya. Pagkatapos, pati yung pelvis, nagbuhan siyang The shape of the stone assumes that of your calluses together with the pelvis of your kidney, of the affected kidney. That's why we call it a staghorn calculus. This one is merely a stone. Okay? This one is another KUB film. So, again, Staghorn calculus on the left is more prominent than the multiple calculi on the right. Okay? Wala pang contrast material yan. This is just a plain thing. 
because a stone will be seen as white. This one is a big stone, it's that one calculus, and then there are other smaller stones surrounding your stack one calculus. This is the right kidney. There you are. Nephrotitis on the left kidney. This could be your lower pole. Paislant na ganun. So the ureter would be here. Bubble. This one, again, a at least two stone. This is a bigger stone, and then that one is another suspicious stone, suspicious stone on the left kidney. This one is a very obvious. This is not a renal stone. Instead, this is your ureteral stone on the right. So, what would you expect if you have this ureteral stone on the right? There would be marked dilatation of your palpocalitial structure of the right kidney. So, there would be marked hypernephrosis of your right kidney because there is a distal obstruction of your left, uh, right ureter. Okay? Retrograde ang effect nun. This one would be more of a ureteral stone on the left. Okay? So, a ureteral stone medically would be termed as ureterolithiasis. A stone would be lithiasis. Again, this would be your staghorn calculus on the right kidney. This one is a bigger staghorn calculus. And aside from the staghorn calculus, what did you notice? The vertebra. So the patient is kuba, kyposis. Okay? But what is significant here is the staghorn calculus of the right kidney. Okay? This one is also a staghorn calculus on the left kidney. This one is staghorn calculus. There you are, bilateral, left and right. So, this is your nephrocalcinosis. When you say nephrocalcinosis, the parenchyma, usually the one at the periphery, is calcified. Okay? It looks like multiple stone, but actually it's the parenchyma that is being calcified. This is a huge stone seen at the urinary bladder. Okay? This is not a foreign body. Instead, this is a stone. So, you call it cystolithiasis. Or if not, you can simply write the UV stone. Okay? That would be accepted. There you are. Another picture of your urinary blood stone, bigger urinary blood stone, and this is a picture of your gallbladder. So these are your gallbladder stones, and this would be the neck of your gallbladder, and this one is your this is your common bile and what do you call the stone seen in the common bile duct? That is your cholelithiasis. The stone in your gallbladder would be cholelithiasis. The stone in your CVD would be 
call it docolitiasis or simply is right there CPD is torn. Okay? So usually for CPD stone, we do this special procedure, T2 cholangiograph. So usually the T2 is inserted in your CPD and dye is being introduced retrograde outside, okay? So this is the picture of your CPD. So normally, there should be a reflux of your contrast material to your duodenum. That small intestine is the duodenum, not the jejunum. There you are. This is the opacified common bile And this are contrast material seen in your small intestine. Okay, how would the stone in the CPD appear? So, it would appear a feeling defect, magiging black siya. So, the tissue cholangiogram would show blockades within your common bile duct or your hepatic ducts. Okay, the most common reason for this examination is to look for remaining stone or stone fragment in the duct after surgery. Okay. Usually what you call the procedure that they do at the OR during uh, cholecystectomy. Ano yung ginagawa niyo, Doktor? Yung ginagamitin niyo na siya? Pagka nagkakol eh, nasa titube ko lang, di ba? Especially pagka may napalpate yung doctor dun sa uh, CPD, usually pinapalpate na lang kasi nila. Kasi what is just visible is your uh, gallbladder. So, if they would suspect that they would ask the technologist to come up at the OR, pagkatapos may CR doon, they would do instant tissue polandiograph. There you are. This is the typical tissue polandiogram. As I've said, there should be a reflux of contrast material to the duodenum. Once you see this reflux of the uh, duodenum, the examination is complete. There, another picture. So that is your CPD stone, the black one, filling defect. Hindi siya ma-feel ng contrast material kasi may nakaparang stone doon. That's why the stone would appear black. Without that stone, homogenous yan. Puro puti yan, radio pain. Okay? If not, hindi rin makapag-pass through yung contrast material kasi na-black so may cut-off sign. So that would also be a stone or a mass. This one, hindi mo pwedeng establish na this is just pure stone. This could also be a mass at the distal end of your CBD. Dito, kuminsan, nakukuha nyo Polangio CA. Dito na i-establish yung Polangio CA. Your mass at the CPP. Okay? There you are, the feeling defect. Before na nagpunta siya sa nag-reflux sa duodenum, may feeling defect doon. So that is a CPD stone at the distal end of your common bile duct. Okay? Again, may stricture, nagnaro, but then at, before na nagnaro, may feeling defect then. You would see this in your Xerox. Meron siyang meniscus sign. Mas grayish dito okay, as compared mo dun sa taas niya. 
mas puti. Okay? And then after the storm, may string chirping siya, lumiit din, and then lumabas na siya sa dudemin. Okay? This is your intravenous pyelogram or your IVP. As I've said, your kidneys would be visualized on the third, fourth, and succeeding films. But usually, on the first film, it's just a skull film, and then the second film would just be a nephrogram effect. So yun parang kimalang. So yun parang shadow lang ng kidney ang makikita mo. But on the succeeding film, you would see the this is the pelvis, these are the calces. And this one, the right ureter and the left ureter. So, both ureter would be visualized segmental. You would only observe uh, the ureters complete pagka obstructed siya or dilated siya. You would see it later. And you would call that hydro ureter. Okay? So, as I've said, nephrogram effect, makikita mo lang yung, yung shadow ng kidney. This is the right and this is the left. That's the second film because the first film is your scout film. And then, ito na, 5 to 15 minutes. This is the pelvis, that's the upper calyx, that's the lower calyx. And that is the pelvis and then yung proximal ureter on the left. And then this is the right kidney. That's the capping of your upper calyx, that's your pelvis, and then it goes down, that is your right ureter. Okay? Until it goes down to your bladder. And there you see, nag-iba yung panya, yung uh, caliber niya kasi may peristalsis siya. Okay? So, contract, dilate, contract, dilate. Okay? So, that's your, that's the shadow of your uh, right kidney going down. So, you should not uh, try to say that this is staghorn calculus because you're now looking at the film. This is a special procedure. This is an IPP. How would you know that this is an IPP? A special procedure. Normally, in your plain KUB, you will never visualize your ureters and your urinary bladder. Okay? Again, that is your bladder, that is your left ureter, that is your right ureter, left kidney, right kidney. Okay? I gave you this in your first film, immediate film the nephrogram effect, and as a while ago I told you, when the bladder is full, we ask the patient to pour. But what happens if the bladder is not filled within an hour, we do delayed films. But the interval not usually every hour. But after uh, three films, na with differentia, we, sh we usually increase the duration. Mas matagal na. Okay? So, again, yung mga landmarks nyo, the Sobos muscle, this is a normal IPP. Again, as you can see, the right kidney is lower than the left kidney. That's normal. And then, as I've said, segmental yung mga uh, ureters ninyo. This one. Here you would suspect a stone. Kasi hindi bumaba yung dye. Unlike here, you would see the left ureter. You could visualize the left ureter. In here, hindi siya gano'ng bumaba. So, kung meron man very faint siya, so, the 
obstruction could be at the pelvic junction. Okay? That's why UPJ, ureteropelvic junction stone. Okay? So, obstructed siya, hindi makababa. So, this is not a stubborn calculus. Rather, this is hydronephrosis. There would be obstruction of your calluses and your pelvis. There. The obstruction is here. Ureteropelvic junction. So, that is typical of your hydronephrosis right kidney. This one, it's more on the left. So, hydronephrosis left. Okay. This one, this is your kidney. The calyces. And then there is a rim of thin calcification on the lower pole. The one that is your renal cyst on the lower pole of the right kidney. There would be thin rim of calcification surrounding your renal cyst on the affected kidney. Then the affected kidney here is the right kidney. <clears throat> As you can see, but the thing to the lower pole, yan, like here, this is the upper pole, kitan kita nyo pin shape siya, whereas on the right kidney, big lang nawala. So, in enlarge natin, meron thin ring of calcification, oval in shape, so that is your renal cyst on the right kidney. Okay? Where is your right kidney here? Okay, absent right kidney. Ready? But as you notice, if you try to see this one, the ureter will go to the right side of your bladder. So the right kidney did cross at the center. So ito yung tinatawag natin, kung merong ectopic pregnancy, this is cross ectopia of your right kidney. So the right kidney went to the left side. So much so, the possibility for the left kidney to go to the right side is very possible. Okay? So cross renal ectopia. So the affected kidney here is the right kidney. Why? Sundan mo yung right ureter. Ito yung right ureter. It went to the left side. So this is a cross ectopia. But what if the kidney just go below to the right side? Same side. Bumabalan siya. You call that the toes or ptosis. P-T-O-S-I-S. Diba? Sa ay natin, kung isang may ptosis, yung hindi mo may buka yung kwan mo, ganun din, may ptosis of kidney rin. There you are. Normal in position, diba? Lower than the le left kidney, pero now, the right kidney is seen almost adjacent to your urinary bladder, just above. So, this is ptosis of the right kidney or toes right kidney. Look at toes with T. Okay? So that's the difference if it cross to the other side. Okay? This is normal. And there are instances where in Clinician would request for a KUB ultrasound and the sonologist could not establish the location of the of one kidney. So that's the 
advantage of requesting for an IBP to locate the location of the missing kidney in ultrasound. Because once you inject the dye, if there is no obstruction, even when there is an obstruction, you would be able to locate both kidneys. Definitely, meron at meron dadaan ng contrast material. So, in here, there are instances wherein through ultrasound, you cannot establish the uh, image of your right kidney. But when you do the IBP, here you are, the kidney is seen near your urinary bladder. Okay? That's one importance of IBP. We're trying to establish the location of the missing kidney not seen in ultrasound. Okay, this one, urinary bladder. So, it was already eaten. So, diba? Normally, it should be opacified. Wala na, nakain na. So, this is a case of a bladder CA. Okay? There you are. Hydronephrosis, right? So there is an obstruction here. There might be a stone. So this is not a staghorn calculus. Why? Because this is not a KUB plane film. This is an IBP film because, as you can see, ayan yung left kidney. May contrast material niya. There you are, showing your uh, deleted ureter, hydronephrosis, also hydroureter right. Okay? Left kidney normal. Kita mo buo yung hydroureter. This is the only case where you would see a complete, the complete length of your ureter if the involved ureter is dilated. So most likely the obstruction here is at the ureterovesical junction, at the UVJ before it enters the urinary bladder. Kita mo doon ang taper siya doon. So there might be a stone at the urinary bladder junction. Okay? So this is again of a case of hydro uh, nephrosis as well as hydroureter bilateral. Okay. This one, trabeculated daw. When you say trabeculated, it's not smooth. Serrated. Or pana mod eaten. So there is bladder outlet obstruction. So when do you suspect bladder outlet obstruction? So bladder outlet obstruction is more common among male patients. Okay? Usually bladder outlet obstruction is seen in cases of enlarged prostate gland. Okay? Because in enlarged prostate gland, even if you're going to ask your patient to boy, the patient will have a hard time completely boiling his urinary bladder. So there would be uh, sufficient uh, post-boy uh, urine that would be present in your post-boy film. Okay? Because in the post-boy film, you would expect that the bladder should be empty. But in bladder outlet obstruction, expect that there would be only a few amount of urine that is being expelled out. Okay? There is significant amount of retained urine in the urinary, urinary bladder in case of a small bladder outlet, uh, in case of bladder outlet obstruction.
So here it says here, uh, there is a stone, but then you could hardly appreciate it, not unless you're going to look at uh, the uh, laptop. There is a rounded uh, black, sh black shadow here. It's a filling defect. Uh, in any form of uh, special procedure, yung stone, it would always appear as a filling defect. So, it would appear black. So, in that case, the stone is seen at the UVJ junction. That's why you would expect the dilated right ureter. Okay? Through and through from the pelvis down to the bladder. Okay? Here, we have set it up. So, normally functioning on left ureter. This time, it's the effect, it's the left side that is affected. Right? It's the left side that is affected. Right? True or false? False. Where's your right kidney? Son. So, affected in right kidney. Why? Because the right kidney is a non-excreting right kidney. You expect that the kidney should be excreting. Kaya ang, in, ang affected kidney dito, bilateral. Kasi sasabihin nyo, absent right kidney, right? Yeah, kasi hindi mo makikita eh. Sasabihin mo, eh dok, baka naman absent talaga yung right kidney, baka nag-donate na yan ng kidney. Kaya nawawala yung right kidney niya. Di ba? But in here, you see, ayan o, so probably may UVJ is tonto. Ureterovesical junction stone. Kasi dilated ang the whole of your uh, left ureter retrograde yan. It follows even the uh, pelvocalicial structure of your left kidney. But what is significant here is the absence of your right kidney. So the right kidney here could be at the end states. Kasi nang-excreting na siya. 